From Our Planet to Internet by Pietro De Santi The development of the ARPANET In the mid-60s, the Air Force commissioned to the RAND Institute a study on how to maintain control and command after a nuclear attack. The suggested solution was a new technology called packet switching, which would allow any message on a network to find its destination using the most suitable route. ARPA, the Advanced Research Project Agency, soon enough realized that this theory would work not only to satisfy the Air Force requirement, but also to share information between different research institutions. Around 30th August 1969, BBN, Bolt, Barnack and Newman, delivered the first interfet message processor, the IMP, to the Network and Measurement Center at UCLA. The IMP was built from a DDP-516 computer uh, made by the Honeywell with only uh, 12K of memory designed to handle the ARPANET network interface. After a couple of days, the UCLA computer and the IMP were connected. The IMP was communicating with the local NMC, the Network Measurement Center. Messages were successfully exchanged and as a result, in the 1969, ARPANET was born. There were only a few things ARPANET could do in the beginning. Log into a remote computer, print to a remote printer, transfer file between computers. Despite its limitations, the network was an immediate success and more institutions were asking for connections. During the first decade, ARPANET was mainly an experiment network. A progressive introduction and build of application and network protocols. In the 1971, the first mail program was written, immediately adopted by the community. Only a few months after, the mail and mailing list were introduced, creating virtual discussion groups. TCPAP. The most important development that came out um, of ARPANET was TCP-IP. TCP-IP would not only replace the ARPANET's original network control protocol, NCP, but will also create the base for the network of network, which will make ARPANET obsolete. ARPANET constantly grew, connecting always more computers and institutions and adding new technology to its infrastructure. In the 1983, ARPANET converted its old NCP with the newer and universal TCP IP, creating what today we know as the Internet. In the 1990, the Department of Defense disbanded ARPANET after 21 years from its creation, leaving its duty to other networks it would handle the traffic quickly and efficiently. Although ARPANET was in use for more than 21 years, connecting several computers and institutions, its disappearance caused almost no disruption in the network traffic, allowing other networks, which could handle network traffic more quickly and efficiently, to take its place. I hope that you found this video informative. Thank you for listening.